want me to put that on my todger? Harry's wife. She's too controversial. It is fair and accurate to say that many people in the United Kingdom, certainly a majority, disapprove of Harry's wife. They disapprove of her because of her behaviour. You only have to go below the line on any of the newspapers, Daily Express, The Telegraph, The Times, The Mirror, The Super Saw Away Sun, any of those nationals, and you will find that the vast majority of comments, if not all of the comments, are critical of her. There is the repeated frustration with her thirst for publicity, the dismay with regard to the way that she has behaved in terms of slating the royal family, the complaints that you're all familiar with. And therefore, this results in a very low popularity for her. We've also learnt, in part passim, of course, of her plummeting popularity in the United States. And, as you'll hear in a forthcoming video, there was a poor reaction to her appearance at the LA Lakers game on the NBA Instagram account. I'll be explaining more about that reaction for you in a video later today. But it also shows that alongside the Brits, most Americans either don't give a rat's ass about her, or if they do, it's for the most part that they don't like her. And this is causing a significant problem for her, something that has been picked up in the mirror by Jamie Roberts, with the headline, Harry's wife's popularity plummets in the United States as Rockefeller heiress blasts notoriety. Heiress Kayla Rockefeller says Harry's wife's decline in popularity is due to her being too controversial for the American public. Ah, another person that has identified that she's not popular and also noting that it's nothing to do with her race. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately for Harry's wife, her race card is going to get declined again and again and again. Harry's wife's controversial ways are making her popularity levels in the United States severely dip, according to heiress Kayla Rockefeller. The billionaire heiress, 23, has warned Harry's wife and hubby, Prince Harry, risk becoming excluded from elite circles in the States. Well, were they actually in the elite circles to begin with? If they continue with the way they are going. Kayla, who is part of a dynasty known as one of America's royal families, has revealed the Duchess of Sussex is being too controversial in the eyes of many Americans. It comes after the former suit star, <clears throat> 41, opted against attending the king's coronation after months of speculation. Speaking at the launch of her new jewellery line, Kayla Jaceling Jewellery, so we also know why Kayla feels the need to speak out about Harry's wife, she wants some publicity, the heiress confessed she wouldn't want Harry's wife to wear or model her designs as she would probably look fucking terrible in them because no matter what she wears, she looks a complete mess and I don't want her making a dog's dinner of my jewellery line. Oh no, she wrote, um, or rather said, she couldn't take that chance on a figure who brings such controversy. Now, it is interesting, of course, that she is being seen this way by so many people because Harry's wife holds herself out as being the angel of Monty Shit Show that she's simply a kind, empathic individual who means no harm to anybody and repeatedly gets picked on unfairly, resulting in her responding by stating, it's not right that you treat me this way. It's not fair that you do so. You're all big, bad, racist, meanie haters. Accordingly, the facade that she puts out there has taken an absolute battering. It'd be fair to say, that her facade has been bummed into oblivion as a consequence of her own behaviours. The fact that so many people are able to pick apart what she says to demonstrate that she regularly lies, the fact that people believe the allegations of bullying that have been made against her despite her denials, the fact that so many people see that she's a hypocrite, a contrarian, and somebody that revises history, has meant that that facade has taken an absolute pounding. 
If it were an animal, it probably would have been put down by now. So stricken is it. Yes, there are a few demented sugars that still accept the facade and try and prop it up, but most people aren't taken in by it. They see her for what she is. And therefore, this means that more and more people don't accept the facade that she attempts to put forward and instead sees her as an unpleasant contrarian, someone who's nasty, and in this instance, somebody who was viewed as controversial. The article continues, Asked if Harry's wife would be a good role model for her brand, Kayla told Mail Online, That would be controversial. As a new jeweller, I couldn't take the chance. I mean, I could, but people are so 50-50 about Harry's wife. Her stark admission comes under two months after a poll revealed Harry's wife and Harry's popularity stateside was at its all-time low beneath the likes of Prince Andrew. According to a poll conducted by Redfield and Wilson for Newsweek in February, 42% of Americans shared a dislike for Harry compared to the 32% who said they liked him, with a net approval rating of minus 10. This was a significant drop in comparison to the same poll which was carried out in December last year. The same was notable on Harry's wife's figures, with her February results showing a meagre 27% of Americans liked her, while 44% did not. The latest poll sh followed shortly after Prince Harry's memoir titled Wah, in which he laid bare all his feelings about the royal family. And then there's repetition of things that we know about arising out of the various interviews that he has done. Accordingly, this member of the Rockefeller dynasty was asked about, do you think Harry's wife should model your jewellery? And it's, mm, no, I can't take that chance. And if she's thinking that way, you know that many other people are also thinking that way. And this is a major problem for Harry's wife. Why? Because she exists on the grace and favour of other individuals who would be interested in utilising her for various projects. After all, you know that nobody but nobody at Shitflick sat there and thought to themselves, hey, do you know what? Let's offer a massive contract to Harry's wife because I understand that she's got brilliant script writing skills, that she's got magnificent insight into aspects of the world that you just wouldn't realise. So she's got something interesting and meaningful to say. Let's get her hired and she can write away. No, they basically saw... Lots of people are interested in her because of the car crash that she exhibits. We can, we can leverage off that, get her hired, simply for the fact of she married the ginger bloke who comes from the royal family. Spotify, similarly, didn't think to themselves, let's give her a podcast series because she's going to fill our ears with brilliant observations about the world we live in, the people that are around us. Sign her up, sign her up. No, instead, it's simply, people are interested in her because of the bloke that she married, and she's got some supporters, but a lot of people actually don't like her. But that doesn't matter, because they'll still tune in to deride her. She probably has got bugger all of interest to say, but we'll do our best to make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. And thus she signed up. Harry's wife, of course, doesn't realise that's what's gone on. She thinks that she's got brilliant things to tell us all. She thinks that she's a fabulous content creator. Of course, the evidence is to the contrary. The bench of stench was a crock of shite. That the Arsy Wipe series was laughably weak. And the Shit Flick series was dull as dishwater. Of course, plenty of people listened and viewed because they were grudge attendances. People wanted to see how shit it actually was. Which ultimately isn't such a problem for Harry's wife initially because it gets viewing figures, but it does mean that over time nobody's going to be interested in follow-up. And furthermore, the fact that now people look at her and go, well, we all know about the victimhood, so we're not interested in hearing about that any further, and we know that she's escaped the royal family, we're not interested in hearing that any longer. But moreover, actually, she's becoming a bit of a liability people aren't interested in her, and even if she was a controversial figure that was fascinating and talented, people would put up with it. But they won't, because there's no talent there. Because, as I've told you so many times before, she's empty. 
And thus, the observations of Kayla Rockefeller simply echo those of many other people. She's too controversial to have an involvement with, and this is another death knell for the popularity of Harry's wife. It also means that it's a problem for Harry, because she's going to have to go and find somebody to prop her up, because she's incapable of doing it herself, because she's got nothing about her. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.